Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create new background layer. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add name background, click OK. Move to behind of card layer and go to FX presses, search FX fill. Select fill, use for background layer and go to color cube. Choose here blue and like this click ok and lock layer so select this card layer let's click this icon for turn on 3d layer and change view one so select this card and press p let's go to one second and create new person keyframe go to back and move the card like this and let's see so we have z axis simple animation and go to middle and moved up let's see okay select keyframes make it easy or click f9 and select keyframes hold alt move to left and select keyframes go to graph editor let's choose first keyframe move to left and let's keyframe move to left okay and back to keyframes and hold shift press R let's go to first second and create X rotation keyframe and let's change rotation like this go to 10 keyframes and change rotation here and again 10 keyframe chain rotation like this okay let's change this 50 go to 10 keyframes change minus 25 again 10 q frames 15 again 10 q frames minus 7 again 10 q frames 3 and let's q frame 0 so there are more q frames for bounce animation select q frames and make it easy or click f9 and preview animation okay so select these first three q frames hold alt move to left and select last few frames, move to the left, hold alt, move to the left for more speed animation. Okay, so let's back to active camera. Okay, not bad. And click this icon for motion blur. Okay, very good. And let's create shadow and go to shape layers, hold this icon, choose ellipse tool. And let's create one ellipse like this. Clicization tool and stroke with zero and open fill and choose background color and choose here dark blue. Click OK and change name shadow. So in this time, let's go to here and press S. Change scale like this, create scale keyframe, go to 10 keyframes and change scale like this. Again, 10 keyframes, change 100. Let's see. Okay, make it keyframes easy. And say keyframes, go to graph editor and let's make it graphs like this. Okay, so back to keyframes and Let's go to project and select this lock compensation and drag and drop into the compensation here. Okay, and let's move to center. Also, let's go to enable title action save and select this cut layer. Let's create new null object and select this card link to null object. Select null and press P. Let's move to center like this. Okay, also shadow. Let's move to a little bit. So, and delete null object. And right now, select this log compensation. Let's move to here. Press S. We can change scale like this. And let's move to center. And open compensation. Select this log 1. Press S, go to first second, and change scale 0. Create scale keyframe, go to 10 keyframes, 
change 100 and make it keyframes easy. Go to graph editor and make smooth graph. Back to keyframes and hold shift press P. Let's create new parts in keyframe. Move to left and go to here. Let's move to up and go to 10 keyframes. Move to down. Again, 10 keyframes. Move to up. Again, 10 keyframes. Move to down. And make it keyframes easy. Let's see. Okay, and let's say keyframes go to graph editor and let's select this first position keyframe. Make keyframe like a failing animation. And this keyframe move to right. Nice. Let's see here. Very good. And in this time, select this log 2 and press S. Let's move the anchor point like this here. Classification tool and change scale 0. Okay, and let's select this log 2, link to log 1 layer. And select log 2, create scale 2 frame, go to 10 2 frame, change scale 100. Make it two frames easy, and go to here. Hold Shift press P, and create new person two frame. Go to next two frame, and move up. Make it two frames easy. Select two frames, move to left. Let's see here. Okay, select this low compensation, move to right. Okay, not bad. Move to right a little bit. Let's create new parts in Q frame and go to here and move to down. And select Q frames, go to graph editor and make it a smooth graph. Let's select work area. Let's move to left a little bit. And select Q frames. Let's move to right here. Back to two frames, go to graph editor, and this move to left. Okay, so in this time, select this lock one, and here let's press P, create new person two frame. Go to ten two frames, let's move to down again. Ten two frames, move to up again. Ten two frames, move to down. Okay, very nice. Select these last three two frames. Or four two frames, hold alt move to left. Move to left more. Nice. And let's select this lock one, hold shift press R and create rotation two frame, chain rotation 35. And go to here, change like this minus 10. And here change five and let's you frame zero and make two frames easy okay back to main conversation nice and in this time let's select these cards press p create new passing two frame go to 10 two frames move to down again 10 two frames move to up again 10 two frames Move to down and select work area and select two frames. Let's move to right and select two frames. Let's hold control, let's left mouse again, right mouse, two frame ascent, and easy. Nice, very good. Back to lock and select these person two frames. Hold alt move to left for more fast and speed animation. Nice, let's see here. Nice, very good. And let's back to log compensation. Let's enable motion blur. And here also enable. Okay, very nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.